All right, saw a uh, submission in Dusk's queue here. Hecarite and Shade Splitter. Uh, I thought it was Light Phoenix that submitted it, but maybe they found it from somebody else. Um, anyway, though, it looks like it's only only one person has beaten it. Pretty low score, so it could be a tough one. I mean, I think Hecarite's pretty decent. It's no Spine Chief, but. Um, I'm guessing we don't start Marsh Lord is my guess because that is like the only way I could see Echorite being cursed. Uh, but with Umbra, I think Repeater's pretty good. Um, we'll see. Alright, Seraph the Chase, Talos the Pusher, and Non Remarkable Arcus. Starters aren't great. Um, but, you know, at least we got a consumable. I mean, we got a bunch of consumables. So that's good for Echo Right no matter what. Okay, it's Marsh Lord. We absolutely take that. Uh, Blight's probably not useful. Cheater's Hand does nullify one of the only halfway decent uh, Umbra artifacts, but it's probably fine. It's going to be pretty good. <clears throat> We're more Marsh Lord. We should be able to take that. Well, Volatile Gauge is not untakeable uh, because Umbra is part of this combo, but it's pretty bad with Wormkin. Um, especially with four zero costs in our opener, probably won't take that. Uh, Repacting Lenses is just really good. All right. <clears throat> Spikes, yeah, it should be fine. It is hard on these uh, dudes, but we've got a pretty good starting deck. One, two, three, okay. <clears throat> Do I put the eggs or the steward in front? Because I would get the three attack on the eggs. I think I just put the steward back here. We're gonna have a lot of pyre health. Save that for the boss, maybe. Hmm. I don't want to put a steward here because that gives this guy damage shield. Let's do this. Just throw that one away. All right, that kills that. So that's fine. Um, yeah, one short, really. That's some truthful bullshit, but whatever. I think we'll have full pyre health soon enough. I forget which boss it was. If it was the scourge shuffler this is pretty fine but if it's not then that's obviously a waste but it's a waste anyway i mean what am i gonna do with them all right <clears throat> it's that fucker kill this do that um yeah and like i said these are relatively useless to me So far, so good. Shelter. There'll be no shelter here. Except there is some shelter here. It's pink, we take it. Oh, that's pink. Probably take that. I mean, these are all good, but... It's like... The problem with the space prism, it's likely to actually be useless for me. Um, but at the very least, it's a pink zero-cost consumable for Marsh Lord. 
which is already something. I think we take it. There's still some upside. If I end up throwing away uh, Martial Lord, then it's pretty good because it Wormkin obviously loves a wide floor in most cases. Now, even though you typically want to go steal, this is pretty obvious magic to me because the Umber units are so bad and the Wormkin units are so good. Plus, we can maybe get some uh, stuff here. Minus two. Doubtful. All right, <laughs> we already got the best unit in the game. I mean, one of them. I, I don't know. I could actually argue that Keeper of Echoes is the best unit in the game. Uh, <clears throat> back when I used to crunch the my, my data, Paraffin Enforcer and Railbeater had it, but since then I'd actually maybe give it to Keeper of Echoes. This is such a consistent unit. It's very likely that we don't use Martial Lord at the end then, especially with the Space Prism Intrinsic, which we'll absolutely do. Now we don't have to take a pip upgrade, which is nice. Um, and we're just going to probably make a floor of three keepers, is my guess. We'll have to hell vent one without... Actually, we don't have to hit that hell vent, because there's a relatively early hell vent right there. So we could, for the final hell vent, get our final keeper. We probably run Marsh Lord for a while then, in this run. And I could still... Hey, the problem is it's a vanilla Helvent, but that's not like the worst thing in the world. Very unlikely any Umbra Banner I'd actually want to fuse in, whereas I could just take the Horde. The health is probably useless, but the Horde with uh, a Wormkin is highly likely to be good. Is anything worth holding over? <laughs> I can only hold over the basic cards. I, the Merchant of Magics have been like screwing me over lately. It's like I never get hold of her when I want it, and then it finally gives it to me. I mean, you know, whatever. Okay, let's sur definitely search down one of these. This is a good call. Just take that down. I would remove consume on it, maybe. Nope. It's like the worst upgrades possible. Well, I like at least we got surge stones. Surge stones are not bad. Those are like pretty good for at least early. They won't matter later. I guess I do that. We're not spending gold coming up, but I don't know if I'll purge a card. Because I do want to have some money for this Merchant of Steel. Man, am I even going to hit that, though? Because... I mean, I wouldn't care about the Wormkin banner. I, I typically don't. In this combo, there's nothing I'm really looking to fuse into the uh, Keeper of Echoes. But the Vortex would be nice. The magic might be nice. I don't know. It might be a... Steel's a pretty bad node. Plus, it's mainly multi-strike and 25 health I'd be looking for. I'd probably get the 25 health, but 50-50 in the multi-strike. Also, since I am going to hit that Hellvent. Um, means I'm giving up another Vortex, so like... I don't know. This is a bit of a tough call. I, mean, I would say this, if I'm... Hitting this steel, then I should just Hellvent here if I'm not going to hit that Hellvent. Because, again, it's like the Horde, it's, it still could brick. It's only two choices. And they may not just, they may just not have a, a Wormkin offering. Yeah, let's just, let's just go for now. I think I would still do a unit draft. Uh, if I could find another Keeper without having to spend a Hellvent on it, that does make things easier for me. Um, yeah. The other thing is, well, we'll just see. We'll just see. I'm like, like a morsel maker infusion almost is takeable. I guess we do this. Maybe, maybe we want that. 
like, do I want a, the three attack or the health? I actually think I want the attack because we're just worried about wave clear. We're going to obviously win the fight. Just throw that away. <clears throat> I did give up one of my uh, things there, but I think that's fine. Alright, got that. Break the shield. Oh, we actually have space still. Probably should have put a better morsel there, but that's okay. I did not think we had space. Do this just to get the max amount of armor. Hmm. Nope. Messed that up a little bit, whatever. Alright, that's good. Could have also put it on the thing back there, but whatever. Oh, I... Wait, why? I'm confused. Why? Oh, right, because I hashed. I'm like, why do I now not have space? But uh, yeah, that makes sense. Take that guy out anyway. Oops, should have done that. Whatever. Alright, you are gone. Hmm. That's a tough one. I think Echo transfers pretty good with uh, the hatched egg of Martial Lord, particularly the second tier, but it delays any actual hatching and it's not going to be that good on Keeper if I don't find Multi, whereas a pink shelter gives me an inspire, some defense, helps me hatch Marsh Lord. I think it's just the shelter. It's pink. <laughs> it's a consume, it's a zero. I'll tell you what. I typically don't find a single keeper on the floor of that in inspiring, pun intended, but... If I get like a Shard Soul Carver Essence, like I might be a willing, because I'm finding a pretty good Marsh Lord setup here. For full Marsh Lord. Hmm. And I have a, a uh, I do have the Cheater's Hand. Like I could maybe take the Egg here as well, and just run one Keeper, one Egg. I could Cheater's Hand Marsh Lord. That way I still fit everything on the floor. Then I'm running one Keeper, but... Then we're really sad that we didn't take the... Uh, that Extraction card, but there's still... I could still hit Echoes of the Past. 40% chance. That's about the only scaling, though, other than... Because we're obviously not... Uh, Perils is out of the question now. Void binding could happen, but I don't know how we deal with Ember Drain. I just think we have to commit to the keeper here because we don't we didn't take the uh you know whatever echo infusion or whatever echo transfer, whatever it's called. And now only echoes of the past would give us like big scaling, but three keepers on a floor gives me scaling. I could also hit Cave-In and actually still use Marsh Lord with the whole floor eventually. And at Cave-In is a decent chance. I think it's like about a little bit over 50% from here on out that I find a Cave-In. Hmm. 
do I actually want to run this egg? Because it's significantly worse if my plan is to only run one keeper with it. So, I don't know. Tough call, tough call. Could go to the right here and just live with Vanilla Keeper. I mean, there's also, yeah, not an easy choice necessarily. I think I did a mistake by not taking the Echo Transfer. If I could do that all over again, I would, because this would be a much easier ch Like, I would shift my game plan for sure if I had that card right now. Like, I would just take the egg, and I would go here to the better node. I might even be able to get, like, a, you know, a pretty good essence for the egg. Granted, I'd have to wait all the way to there to, to do it, but, you know, I'd, I'd get my Vortex, which is super valuable. Merchant of Magic would be fine, and, you know, I'd be good to go. I could even get a holdover on the Echo Transfer. So, big mistake. Like, uh, you know, you, you play enough in the game, you never get perfect. You still make mistakes. But I think we can still win. I mean, it's... The three keeper usually works. The only thing is, like, it's going to be a lot harder if I don't find multi-strike. And if, like, my caverns don't give me some extra help or something. Um, yeah, I mean, if I go to this node and I don't hit multi-strike... There's also a slight chance that I don't hit 25 health. If I don't get, like, either of those, it's a wasted node. You know, the health obviously is useless. The gold isn't completely useless, but, you know, we're talking about a 50-50 on a full brick uh, versus full brick versus guaranteed removal. Banner that might, may or may not be useful. And a magic, which will at the very least allow me to reduce some cost on stuff. But I don't have a... F and, you know, I have the wounds for the gold. This node uh, layout is making me want to just take this egg, and even though I didn't get the echo transfer, like, still just maybe go, like, this route, because I really wouldn't need the hellman at that point. The caverns is very hit swingy. You know, caverns is like... You could get something incredible, like melee weakness on strike, or, or like, uh, micro stone, or just pip increase stuff like that, or you could just get something like the friggin' blight event, which is completely useless. Also, if I take the egg, then multi. You know, I say I go to the steel. Um, you know, Endless could be a thing I could take. So now, Multi and Endless are pretty big hits. And maybe I get this card, Carapace, um, for the egg. So Endless becomes even better. But... Then it's like I'm, if I'm playing the odds, I may want to choose this because there are. It's pretty likely you find an egg at a Wormkin banner. Um, it is at least one of the choices. Whereas this one's much less. You know, it's a one out of six into a one out of five, roughly. Even less than that because there are the rares. But with the eggs, you got one rare and two uncommons that are eggs. But I don't know, I could take the egg and then, like I said, Shards of Carver is takeable. I think I'm going to take the egg and just really... I, I'd like to really reiterate how much of a massive mistake it was for me to not take the... Uh, that echo transfer. That's going to come back to bite me, I'm sure. So is this Hellvent worth going to? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I could Hellvent the Space Prism, but... I don't really know what good that's going to do me. I think we just go over here. Uh, I'll go here before I hit the Pyre, just in case I lose Pyre health. 
All right, definitely that one. Another intrinsic and a 30. A 30 power. I did not want that. Oh, we'll see. What do we got here? <sighs> completely useless. Like I said, caverns are ranging from completely useless to game breaking. Man, that was completely useless. Hmm. I don't think I'm intrinsicing anything. Don't think I'm 30 powering anything. I mean, I'm trying to think, like, if I'm only going to run one keeper, it's possible that I want to just put the keeper into this egg. Then Endless is still good. It's like, I basically just make a floor of those things. It would put me to 50 shards right now into the hardest ring 3 fight and a boss, which is not great. Um, hmm. I wish you could, like, leave that there and then revisit it. <laughs> That'd be interesting uh, mechanic. Like, revisit nodes that you didn't hit on previous stuff. If anybody ever wants to make Monster Train 2, there's an idea for you. I don't think I do. The awkward thing is just two rings of no temple, but if we're going to hit that banner, I think we owe it to ourselves to not fuse the unit right now because that could certainly be something better. Even if I don't end up with an endless egg, I, I have to think that maybe just the... Uh, I don't know. I'm probably talking too much. We'll, we'll just play. I have a lot in my mind. I can't put it all out into words right now. Of course, this fucking Talos starts at the top, and of course, I start with the damn egg. Alright, whatever. Uh, because uh, I don't need the space, we're just gonna go like this and get my. Uh... We're just not gonna care about putting. I guess we can still put Keeper on the floor if we don't hatch this turn. Which, I would have to not play that if I don't want to hatch right now. And probably I don't. I mean, I probably do want the Keeper on the floor. So, let's go like that. Alright, do we want the Keeper in front? Probably. could have fed that guy the morsels, but I forgot that I had health spanners. Which means I probably don't want to get rid of shade splitters. Alright, we are fully hatched. You know, I, d I really don't rank that one card that high. <clears throat> one, two, three. The uh, Soul Cripple, but I will admit, if you really want to, like, go for an early flying kill, like, you could probably just invest in that, and you'll probably get it done. How did that get pink? Oh, maybe it was the one, the pink one that I got. Yeah, that's right. I did have one of those that was pink.
I mean, chump blocking here almost doesn't matter because I would lose my damage shield to the spikes anyway. So, let's do that, I think. Here it's fine. Ooh, that is a tough choice. Probably the incubation, but that umber stone is uh, tempting. I don't know that it's that good though when my offensive scaling is not necessarily the best, and full martial art already gets me trample on the only unit that really is gonna significantly scale. <clears throat> so it's probably just this. So especially if I end up having to go endless eggs. Okay, we do get this. I think we take that. Like I said, even if I don't end up endless, it's a 2020 for no downside to the to the egg, so that's fine. I think we go draw. I got the uh, Hell's Banners. Like, we don't need Ember. I probably don't need... I mean, Pip would be the other thing. But yeah, let's go here. I think we just want to go. Ooh, that is interesting. I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know that that helps me that much. Because again, Marsh Lord keys off of Etch. Still chance of getting, like, consume return and stuff. don't think we take another egg. We're going to have a kind of awkward, uh, t you know, next two rings because we can't Divine Temple. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to add even more crap to the mix. Is there anything I significantly gain by removing Consume here? I feel like it would only really be making sense on, like, maybe a Shelter, maybe a Space Prism. Maybe an accelerated incubation. Probably the space prism, if anything, but that does mean I can't get a spell chain out of it. Unless I get light casing. And, uh, I don't know, as we saw there, we're gonna go pretty over the pip limit anyway by the time those things hatch, so I don't think that makes sense. I think it's a waste of money, unfortunately. I don't even know if I plus 10 anything. Maybe I do. Makes it more risky to shoot my own guys is a thing. We want to zero that even though it's, you know, not replayable. Maybe I could remove consume on one of them. I'm just trying to think if I really need the, uh, the defense there. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's do that. Okay, we got a holdover. And again, it only applies to my basic freaking cards. Put those at zero. I mean, we are against Chase, so we might, might get fully Ember Drained here and there, and that would, with Hell's Banners, that would be a way out of Ember Drain. And actually, that still opens up Void Mining and stuff, so maybe... Well, I can't do Holdover now, but actually... That could be an interesting one. Holding over a Shade Splitter. Could be something to think about. So we're probably going to that Steel and skipping the Hell Vent, right? So, save the money, I guess. I'm still going to keep Soul Cripple. It may actually be a source of my damage for now. Maybe I should have considered Repeater a little more. Repeater does technically make um, Endless Egg better than just going full Marsh Lord, but I have so many consumables, I highly doubt that I can get Accelerating Incubation back as my Repeater target, so yeah, it's probably fine just going full Marsh Lord here. Alright, it's the only time Mark Evasion is risky, um, but for full Pyre Health, 150 gold, we're taking that. Of 
first the bullshit fucking thing. Alright, we don't want to hatch it. So, can't play that. Let's do that. I don't want to fucking take all of that damage. So... Yeah. Even though I have probably the... Damn, if I play this... Alright, this is what we're gonna do. I wanna get that gold. I don't think... Oh, yeah, I can just do that. Okay. So, let's go... Here. 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 Probably should have just shot the haste thing at the bottom, but yeah, it'll be fine. Move him to the back. Alright, he's not damaging me and I'm killing all of the stuff that matters, so let's just put this here. Uh, I didn't see what boss it was. Hopefully it's not the Scourge one. So that guy, that's fine. Um, do I gain anything by like inspiring up here right now? I don't think so. So we'll just do it down here. I mean, I could have set up a shelter here, but this is gonna beat this anyway. So why not just do something like this? Surprising how much just the single keeper can do there. It was nearly half his health. I mean, the triple keeper plan would have still worked. I'm just like, I felt like it was a bit reliant on multi-strike and just hitting bad nodes. So I think what we did is fine. Are definitely the Broken Memories here. These are all incredible cards, though. Uh, but the Broken Memories is pink and allows me to return Accelerate Incubation and the Endless Eggs are online. And Endless Eggs are gonna be pretty legit. I mean, I have the Ember to play Gem Trove, but... And it is pink... I don't know, though. I've already invested in that shel shelter. Like, I am kind of leaning toward the Blazing Bolts, if anything, here. Probably just Blazing Bolts. Don't need to overthink it that much. Yeah, nope. I 
All right, endless. Boom. You are now endless, and we just want to add some health. The damage shield is uh, acceptable as well. <clears throat> Maybe even better. Especially if I reroll and I get, like, no offering of health. I mean, I get the damage shield when it hatches. Yeah, this has to be better, right? Am I even going to keep the Keeper of Echoes, I wonder? If I do, I should buy this. I think I'll keep it. Alright, Large Stone, literally the only one we didn't want to see. Are we hitting any more Merchant of Steels? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. So, maybe just a damage shield here. Next time I'm going to this Merchant of Magic, so I should hold a little bit of gold. What do we got in the middle here? Encased Divinity, probably. I mean, I have a lot of consumables, but I just don't think that the other card is all that good. Just get rid of Stewards for now. We're fine into Stealth Boss. We've gotten Making of a Morsel and stuff. Yeah. Could maybe... Yeah, whatever. Okay, it is Stealth Boss. Multi-Strike, I don't have anybody that's quick. Hmm. It's only a random artifact. And there is the Sweepers. I don't know, though. I think this is fine. If I lose a little health, who cares? I'm going to get it all back. Once again, with this bullshit start. Uh, let's see, I have two, six, if I do this, it'll go to three, and this will go down to four. Fine. We waste all of this damage shield, but there was no way around that. Alright, we have every unit. Can't actually fit them all on the floor. I'm just going to play this later, I think. Do I put this in front? I imagine that I do. Alright, we'll try to minimize the amount of rage we're giving stuff. Uh, it's kind of inevitable though. I should have maybe just saved those for stealth boss. So now I'm giving a rage to this next guy. At least he wasn't uh, sharded up. I'm going to just keep holding this one. Um, I don't have Accelerate Incubation, but i probably still play this. I just don't know what I play it on. It's like a Space Prism is not really going to be useful. Uh, I wish I could hide this. I can't see what... Maybe I'll just take the shelter, and I guess, I guess for these I'm just going to hold them for the, uh, well, let's see. Those can both die, so that's fine. And then maybe I hold those for stealth boss? Yeah. We can put that on another floor here, but without the accelerated incubation, it's not great. I don't know that it really helps us to play this when we don't have the essence yet. So maybe I just don't play it. Oh, it's not really doing me any favors. I don't know though, it could still be good against Stealth Boss. Alright, 
Stealth boss, I think, is thoroughly taken care of. Um, let's save this for the second floor. I do definitely want to play that. I don't think I play this unless I want to play it on this floor. I suppose I'll play it here. It has a damage shield. Yeah, I should do that. What am I saying? <laughs> Stealth. Easy peasy so far. <laughs> it, I don't even know if that actually helps me. Oh. Okay. I mean, Resonance would be pretty good too, but I feel like my concern on... Uh, Offensive scaling has now been answered with Echoes of the Past. We already have the Blazing Root thing for removal, so it's not as good as Ancient Resonance, obviously, but I think it's Echoes of the Past. I, I know I have the Endless Egg stuff going on. I don't think I take any of these. I don't know, the Void Binding is, like, doable. I can make all of my Shade Splitters cost zero. It might be... Good. I'll take it. It's also finally a good holdover target. Right, we got pretty useful stuff there. I mean, piercing on the blazing bolts is fine. Uh, so, remove consume, I think, is... You know, I could hold out for potentially a spell chain on the... Uh, Broken Memories, and honestly, it would be my best spell chain. I don't think I gain anything from, like, spell chain space prism currently, given what I have. Um, before I forget, because I know I will forget, we're going to put this into this. That could have... I, I don't think I would Hellvent that either, um, with my, like, final Hellvent. I don't see any world where I don't do this, right? So we're up there in shards, but that doesn't matter because Arcus sucks. If it was Rage Fell, it'd be another thing. Um, remove consume, huh? Hmm. I don't think I do it. On anything. It's like I could do it on the Broken Memories, I guess. But like I said, then I don't have a good spell chain target, really. So we know we're doing this. I've actually almost got all of my Shade Splitters at zero. If I do this, I also can't afford a holdover. Which I think I would actually hold over the uh, Void Binding, maybe. You know, between all the, like, these packed morsels and the Shade Splitters, like, I kind of feel like I will always be getting Hell's Banners off, even if I'm at zero ember. I don't think a plus ten is needed. Yeah, let's just re-roll this. <sighs> Shit, Frost. The Large Stone of... I mean, it's an insult to Large Stone to even actually call Permafrost the Large Stone of... Mag Merchant of Magic. It's like, what a useless fucking upgrade. Don't get more, much more useless than that. I guess I could permafrost an Echo of the Past, but I'm not spending 115 on that. Just get these Shade Flitters down. Definitely don't mind Surge Stoning another one of these. Could spend money on a Purge, but might as well keep my money. You don't earn much money from Arcus. Purging here anyway. 
We're not hitting any more of that, so by default, Mine Horde. That's fine. And what do we remove? It's definitely time for Soul Cripple to get out of here. Uh, and I guess these Hostingkins are next on the list. We really don't need to value Vortexes that much anymore because we've removed pretty much everything that we want to remove from this deck. Three, five. Yeah, as long as they don't hatch, we can just do this. Ah, oh, shit, that would hatch. Wait, what happened here? Yeah, we definitely don't want to hatch this. Let me d d double check my math here. To go down to three, yeah, that would that would not be good to play that. I guess I'll just. I mean, I kind of have to though because it's not like I can fit the egg on the floor now. Man, that was a pretty big fuck up. Yeah, whatever. I may not need the other egg on all honesty for this fight. I can still hatch it on the other floors. Uh, played a different one though, because. Well, I could put it at the bottom. Yeah, fuck it. Let's put it at the bottom. So you're already hatched. I get one on one on Inspires, but. Let me just start with this going here. the accelerated incubation again, I see. Yep. Trying to think how much I want to divvy up the, uh, the job here. Alright, you're hatching now. So I can put the rest of this here. I could actually do this and fit the next iteration of this egg up here, so that's fine. Yeah. Well, we'll hatch it below then, because the end can't this turn. So, you're there. Let's put you here. safe to say we'll win this fight. Uh, go to the mid floor, I suppose. We'll go for a bottom floor kill at this point. It might be too late because I kind of 
put everything everywhere else, but you know, we'll try, we'll try. Do anything, just do it there then. Hmm. We want to hatch this thing, so let's just do that. I think we can kill him down here. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to kill him down here. We're, we got plenty of stuff. That damage shield was such a good call, by the way. I don't even know why I had to think about it. It's, it's actually just so good. So this is interesting, too. Um, if I had never hit on the Echoes of the Past, which actually isn't even like that necessary, it looks like, because of the Endless Eggs, uh, Insanity would have been another option for me to deal with the seed. So kind of the same thing that I always say about Wormkin, in my opinion, has occurred so far in the seed, which is to say that there's so many options for the Wormkin that it's pretty hard for them to actually truly be cursed. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'm getting cocky here. I technically could have enough money for a trinket here, but I think there's just way more value on the left side. Double stack probably could go on the Void Binding. Um if I want to do that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't think there's anything that can come from that cavern that's going to make me not do this. All right, that is a huge find. Coals could help maybe with, like, Penitent, or is this is pretty useless to me. Take a look here before we do anything. Oh, ho. Not as good as that normally is, but just to point out, I could have I could have gone the keeper route, and then it's like like I said, there's just so many things that Worm can can do. But I'll probably still will mic will microstone this uh, keeper. We definitely don't want to major stone anything. This is a pretty big upgrade because remember how I've had situations where I I can't like not hatch my my eggs early. Um, but this now alleviates that concern at least. Well, it doesn't really, because I have the Marsh Lord giant egg now, but... Uh, I could always, you know, hold the egg because we got Cheater's Hand. Alright, we got the final Shade Splitter down to zero. Might as well keep the Surge Stone thing going here. I don't think we double stack. That's fine, I wasn't going to use that on anything anyway. Uh, Void Binding at zero. I think. And do I do this? I guess I do. I mean, I don't really need to redraw Echo Breaks and might as well have them slap from the get-go. Do I need an Intrinsic on anything? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Yeah, we don't need it. All right, very easy Mark of Invasion. Probably means I can't hold my dude, but, uh, looks like I won't need to. Uh, actually, I dude, huh? Because if, if I want to put Keeper on the floor, I will have to hold Echo Right. This guy does have the 3 damage shield and will have 30 armor, so I probably could just hold him, but then I give up so many procs on the, uh, on the thing. I think that's fine. It's not that important for me to get Keeper on the floor. Right, let's get you down first. I will put you in front, I guess. Get down one more of these before I put Marshall down. And like I said, if it is the 1 out of 5 chance that I get Penitent, there's this, but, you know, we lose the 1 out of 5 and we can't lose that. Or we can't apparently lose the 1 out of 2 there anyway, but, yeah, get fucked. Long story short, get fucked.
I could use the keeper on the floor with the egg down there, and I think I will. Do I even care to use this broken memories right now? I'd rather get to the accelerated incubation first, so that's actually the card I'll throw back. I don't really need to scale this floor. I mean, I could, I guess. But this is just, like, making more sense to me right now. Give you one of each of these. Wow, concussive coals. You're so good. So good. Get a little bit of an increase here, I guess. I don't know. That thing's gonna die. We have bottom decked accelerated incubation every single fight. Is that correct? I'm pretty sure that's correct. <laughs> Fucker. We finally got that, though. I probably still should just kill it, which is the funny thing. I finally get this, and it's like... It doesn't really make sense for me to do anything else with this. I guess I could put it up here, but... Give the bog worm some stats. I mean, I guess. Keep that guy alive. Makes sense. Uh, I don't know that I want to Ember Dream. Especially with, yeah, no Shade Splitters coming up. I mean, there is the Packed Morsels, but I may not draw them. Keep in mind, I am having an endless, so I actually only draw seven here. So it's possible that it's almost impossible, actually, that I bottom deck both of these. So I guess I could just Ember Drain one of my actual units here, which is probably smart. Considering it's going to die if I don't. Wait. I actually bottom decked both of them. That's pretty disgustingly stupid. Like, seriously, the chances of that happening should be pretty much fucking zero. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Well, that fucks things up. What a bullshit fucking fight. It's just like... Every motherfucking thing that could go wrong did. Now I'm gonna, like, get hurt for it. But that's fine. We'll just get our health back. Penitent is such bullshit. I gotta love that this has been literally as useless as possible this entire fucking time. Uh, let's actually put that to the next one. Okay... Uh, if I do that, that should kill. Wait, it didn't kill that motherfucking dude? Alright, if you say so, bro. If you motherfucking say so, bro. She had space up there. Could have put the morsel down. Whoops. Let's kill this asshole at the bottom for what they did to us. I actually ended up full health still, so no harm, no foul. So you know your uh, deck is well built if all of that bullcrap, like, like if it literally bottom decks two out of the fucking eight cards or whatever, like, when we're the only ones to bottom, I, I guess I miscalculated because of the uh, scourges shuffling in. I technically was a little, you know, I, there was an extra draw there that I don't get, but, that, or that I, you know, that is delayed, so it wasn't as bad of the odds as I originally calculated, but still pretty damn low odds to get both of those in the bottom, but whatever. I think an Ancient Resonance is fine to take. It is not pink. 
The other option is a Forgotten Trade, which would also help me with the Ember Drain problems, but... You know, a pretty unimpressive Void Binding. Is it really that worth it for me to, like, add that card? Probably not. This card's probably pretty good to take, though. Uh, pink Void Binding's tempting. Not so impressive in a chase, but I don't think chase is that much of a worry. I, chase will not be a harder fight than what we just fought. No way. Another spell chain. See, now I think I would definitely put it here. Uh, I have been wanting for one extra pip in a lot of scenarios. And that certainly helps me. Pierce goes there, absolutely. Very good temple. Very good temple. Don't know what I'll hell that. Dung Echo. Uh, Echo Seedling it gives me some flexibility. Um, I could really, you know, hell. Even if it's on the uh, Space Prism. Let's take a look over here. I think we already saw Lightstone Casing, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, double stack there is pretty tempting. Though maybe there's better. Because it's easier to play. I don't know, though. Pro probably here. I think that's worth. Let's get that down. Don't think that benefits us. A holdover. Would it be weird to hold over a shade splitter? I feel like it's pretty bad to do that. I probably don't do that. Probably don't have enough here to re-roll though and afford anything. So I probably don't do that. Let's make that cheaper. I may not need this anymore. It's not pink. We could just do that. So then it's just removals and I hold over if I want it. And like I said, I don't really have anything to remove other than this. That goes to the past I could remove. It's pretty useless to me, honestly. I guess I could remove that. I don't really see it doing much for me when my endless eggs are the main game plan here. Alright. And then... I could hellvent the broken memories, I guess. Or I could hellvent the... Uh, it's pretty low value, but I could hellvent the incubation just to lower my odds of bottom decking it. But if I get two of these, I could get like an incubation and uh, maybe a space prism back, or shelter, or unearthed remains. It does make me more unlikely to draw my shades, or uh, well, oh, or I could do pack morsels. Okay, yep, you convinced me. That's the hellvent. Boom. All right. Starting with that, that's fine. All right, you go down foist. You go down... Probably in front, actually. Um... I guess just this. Now this... Could screw me out of playing my next turn. So I guess I don't do it. I'm getting my stats halved anyway. It's not like I gain that much. Uh, of course we get it, so it's fine. But, you know, if we needed it. I'm going to save that for the next turn. Yeah, just put him down first. We don't care about Ember Drain. I'm going to be playing this Void Binding here anyway. Alright. Uh, health over damage shield since it's chased. Well, they all got fucking whatever there, but that's fine because now I have chased coming to a different floor. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got just enough here to do all this. Um, I mean, since damage shield is relatively useless to me in this fight, I probably just take this floor out. So yeah, that'll work. And I don't play that because I'm gonna need. Oh wait, yeah, I already got my hell's banners. Got no room. Oh wait, why did I put this guy here? I had room here. I'm so dumb. Well, I'm just gonna do this, I guess. I need you to hatch. I'm once again bottom decking the fucking accelerated incubation. Literally bottom decking it every fucking turn. The will. Can't waste all the resources I've put into that. We're just going to have to cycle back through the deck. I mean, if it's going to bottom deck me like that, I, I guess I could do that. Yeah, that's fine. How the fuck did he not hatch that last turn? Eh, these all die anyway. Could have done that in a better order, but whatever. Once again, fucked that up, but that's okay. I'm just gonna block with them. <clears throat> I am not playing this fight well at all, but it doesn't really matter. Like, we're just gonna reach a point of uh, critical mass here soon enough. Alright, let's get another one onto this floor. I mean, the single keeper still provided actually quite a lot of scaling. I mean, if you you can pretty much tell how much it, it's done, because it has a 2020 to start with. Um, so it's like 30 stats already worth of stats. Uh, let's see, they're all dying. Man, did I really not draw? gives a shit. I'll give you that. Uh, play this for reasons. Whatever. Just like forever ember drained apparently. a lot of damage. It's going to hurt our ability to draw through the deck by doing this, but I'm just trying to scale up the floor. Uh, my main dude there, and that's probably fine. I should have brought back the uh, thing, actually. Oh, well. Alright, for 
next fight, we'll just bring that back, and we'll bring that back. And I forgot I'd have no ember. Yeah, it doesn't matter, he's dead. <clears throat> Alright, so we played that as poorly as you could have, and we still couldn't manage to lose. We will have to play better on Divinity, but I don't think it'll be much harder to play better than what I just did. Space prism here. Might as well. I forgot that this is one pit. Uh, I think I'm still going to put it down first. Save this for the next floor, I think. Alright, we have actually much better draw order this time, so I can bring that back. Maybe I should try to hatch one here though, huh? Let's get that so I can put another one up top. Are you not going to hatch? Well, if he's not going to hatch, I'm just going to put that there. Thing here we can hatch this though that's nice Morsels next turn. We've already got the space. Take the space next turn.
counts as a thing. I don't think I'm going to play Void Binding at all, maybe. I don't know. Like, do I really need to when I got this floor up here? Probably not. Do the same thing we did before. Oh, it has its seven floor limit. Shit. Well, it won't soon enough. Uh, I could put it here. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. Maybe, though. I probably should try to soften that floor up a little bit. Alright, you'll hatch. That's good. Don't need any more space up there. I'll lose a guy so I can put the other egg back up there. Let's still scale these, though. So instead of... Let's just get shelter back. Oh, crap. I put that guy out of range. That's fine. We'll just build out the uh, other floor here. Here, let's give you more health. I right, guess we'll put another one down here. You're already hatching, so let's do that. Doesn't really matter where I put these, they're just constantly getting sweet. I guess I got the shelter though, so that'll be fine. Yeah, as long as they're out of range, that's fine. So I am definitely putting the egg up here this turn, so let's get that back. I think we'll go with the shelter again. Maybe I am Ember Drain though, so I probably should have took the uh, Morsels. Maybe I'll get lucky and still get some Morsels anyway. No such luck, unfortunately. Maybe I should have brought back the Kinhos Carapace, huh? Well, whatever. Let's uh, try to at least make this floor be okay. I guess I shouldn't have took the accelerated incubation because I'm not going to redraw this. Oh well, let's just do these then. I think I messed a few things up there, but again, it didn't really matter. Alright, easy peasy. Yeah, I don't know, I think it was pretty okay run. Um, there was a lot of options uh, on what to do, so we'll just have to see what people did, I guess. A lot of good artifacts. All the usual suspects of good Worm Canyons aside from Shroud Soul Carver, but I don't think this run even could have, would have wanted a, a Carver that much. Yeah, this is just an endless egg takeover. So Alfred early, so there was a multi-strike eventually and a quick. Maybe I already saw a quick, I don't know. But this is perfectly acceptable way to go about it. Uh, I would maybe offer a slight criticism that they would have been better off just going with a floor of three Keeper of Echoes, but that's fine. Uh, I also highly disagree with not taking my Marsh Lord at the start. I mean, I would go so far as to say that 
taking a shell smith over a marsh lord is like objectively wrong i think but that's okay it still obviously works it's not like shell smith is bad we took that which is much better than what i ended up with though i completely didn't need it with what my run ended up being but i still would have rather taken it than not taken it uh intrinsic space prism i mean especially with the intrinsic space prism it's like i feel like it's just very but I don't know. You got them with uh, multi-strike. I have to wonder, though, if they they hunted for that multi-strike by skipping the Hellvent at the very end. That's kind of what I assume, but that could be wrong there. Because I would have thought if they had this unit, that would be the most prime Hellvent target. For sure, but yeah, whatever. But this is still fine. I mean, they're getting 8 armor to the whole floor, and they're getting a resolve. I just don't think that there's... Much need of that, especially when there's a spell chain, Broken Memories, eventually. Because they would have flexed into the resolve. But it works, it wins. Okay, they have Keeper. Didn't find the multi. I have to imagine that multi was found at the very end, based on what I'm seeing here. Uh, but this is still pretty strong. I think... Uh, to reiterate it, though, especially with just a one pip unit, you definitely should have tried to get three of these Keeper of Echoes. That would have been a lot better than two. Uh, I do like the full Martial Lord, though. And you know, with the uh, Intrinsic Space Prism uh, and the Spell Chain Broken Memories, definitely could have, you know, fit it all on the floor and stuff. Uh, I gotta say, though, I think. It, it was debatable at the point where I took the egg. In, in hindsight, regardless of if I found the egg, the endless egg or not, I think it was right to do what I did with the, you know, taking the egg because, you know, while you do have the one pip here, you still don't have the multi-strike. Um, it's, it's workable, but I think having an egg in this deck, even if you didn't have, like, endless on it or whatever, would have would have been beneficial. Especially with the full Marsh Lord. I don't know about this. Holdover Echo Break seems like a waste. Uh, holdover Echo Transfer is fine. Though, like, you know, with this deck... I gotta say, I think, especially if taking the Echo Transfer, I think it was a pretty big mistake not to take the Egg at Ring 3. Talos Reward. Um, so I think that is a, a, big, a big loss there because, you know, this is not... Look at what they have. They have all single striking units. Yes, one of them has trample, but it's still much better to put echo transfer onto a multi striking unit than it is a single striking trample unit, in my opinion. So they that egg would have been hugely beneficial to this deck, especially when it you know, I assume if they took a similar route to us, they end up with endless eventually. But even with, even without endless, you know, that's the prime target for this echo transfer. Uh, I do like a lot of the other stuff, though. I like Surge Stoning, all the Echo Breaks. Uh, I don't know that I like Ember Cash over... Um, what was it? Void Mining? I don't really know what Ember Cash does for this deck, other than help with Ember Drain, which they don't have any Ember Drain. Uh, I mean, I guess it's Etch. There is... I, yeah, I mean, I guess it's Etch for the Echo Right Egg. But, I don't know. I think a Void Mining would have done more. We didn't end up needing it, but like it uh, if we did need it, it was it was gonna be good. Still some other good stuff for the resonance. I don't really like investing in this uh card. I mean I guess with the spell chain broken memories it's okay. But pretty good choices otherwise, yeah. It made it to Divinity, it just couldn't beat it. Uh, I can definitely see that. I mean, look, if you look at this deck, think about the large tank waves and stuff, or even the mini-bosses. Um, you're kind of relying on Soul Cripple at that point to do a lot of the damage, and I don't know that it's enough. Okay. I don't know that I like the Crucible um, 
essence here, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Uh, it would have been gigantically better off, though, with the one that I did. Remember, I'm getting a 10-10. A I'm, I'm really getting a a persistent 10-10 every time I play it, but I'm getting a 20-20 every time I play it uh, as far as flat stats go, whereas this one I'm only getting a 10-10 once. And, uh, yeah, I get the damage shield, but whatever. I already had damage shield anyway. You know, to me, this you're paying 25 shards for what I paid 25 bucks for, essentially. It all kind of reduces down. You know, damage, damage shield 3 versus 5 is not that different to me. Uh, I also don't think this is worth the shards. So th this one just took way too many shards. They went to 200 shards with a lot of low-value things, it looks like. Like, uh, definitely the unit... Uh, Infusion, infusions here are weak. Uh, also, flexing the resolve with so many cards, uh, I don't think is very good. You know, the an extra point of martial art, especially if the endless egg would have gone quite a ways. There's also no space extension here, which is a giant mistake, I think, when Wormkin is involved. I mean, that probably gimped them quite a lot. You know, it's a lot easier to hatch the endless eggs if you can flex a few of them up top, but... Yeah, like, this intrinsic doesn't make much sense to me, the pack morsels. Uh, putting 30 damage on Echo Break doesn't make much sense. Minus 2 and Spell Chain also just, I don't know. Like, you'd be better off just... Uh, yeah, there's so much invested in these soul cripples. I don't really get it. Like I said, I don't like the card that much. I think it's one of the weaker cards for Wormkin. So, yeah, 200 shards. I look at this and I'm like, you know, I was, what, 130 shards? 35? And I feel like for my 135 shards, I already got more value out of my, like, shard shards than the 210 here does. So it just seems like really inefficient use of the shards. Gigantically don't like the large stone on Keeper of Echoes. And again, I really don't think self-infusing keep, Keeper of Echoes is worth 25 shards. I'd much rather just have two Keeper of Echoes, you know. Much less so if they're large stone, because it's like large... Of all the units to large stone, it's one of the worst units to large stone, in my opinion. Unless you have an, a reliable way to overstack the floor. That would be the only exception. But otherwise, it's like... You're... You, you're, you're like basically nerfing the unit it's it, you you are making the unit worse at what it's supposed to do by making it take up more space on the floor uh it looks like they died on arcus i mean there's just not much here you got the the martial lord plus one single keeper and yeah it just wasn't uh this was a game plan that was doomed to, to fail. If you're going to take a Keeper and have it be your only banner, you need multiples of it. That's just like Wormkin 101, really. And then, not sure what happened here. It's Lukewarm Torstar Overn, who's a really good player, too. So it looks like maybe... I don't, I don't know. Something's wrong here, because the Echorite doesn't even have a path. They must have just... Either loaded it up and it didn't go through or something. Uh, so, yeah, who knows what happened there. I would expect he beats this seed, though, if, if he actually plays it, because it doesn't seem like a seed that was particularly difficult. It was difficult to navigate, I will put that. But if you think about it, think it through, it, it wasn't too bad of a seed. I mean, we were at, like, full pyre health pretty much the whole time, and the only times we lost pyre health, we gained it back. So I, I thought it was a pretty good seed. I... I maintain my view of Wormkin being just the best clan in the game, where they're just similar to Hellhorn. They don't have quite the ceiling that Hellhorn typically hits, but the floor and the mid, like median Wormkin run is the highest of all the clans, in my opinion. But yeah, anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.